It was definitely not something that I would have ever seen coming. It was like it was just meant to be. How this all started seriously was, we're calling it the quarantine dream because that's exactly what happened. I had a lot of time on my hands during quarantine. I had been just a worker bee at a corporate office out in the suburbs for years. And I thought that's what I wanted to do. But having that time, forced time away to really look inward and look at what makes me happy, how am I living my life. When I heard about dental soiree, I started looking into the courses. I took this course and I started following Dr. Emery. So I never sleep. My brain is always going and I had a dream about South Carolina of all places. And this is a spot that I have never been to. I dreamed about it vividly. Like I'm there, I saw this white house, I saw palm trees and I was like, okay, that was crazy. Good night's sleep, totally rested. Let's dive back into work a hundred miles an hour, you know, working with dentists the next day. We always seemed like to kind of be on the same page as far as the, the things that she coaches people on are things that I truly believe in. I'm a total, a total fangirl, <laughs> absolutely. That night, I had another dream about it. So when I told my husband, Andrew, he said, go get my iPad. He had been looking at houses in South Carolina. I'm a big believer in the universe and the signs, and I said, that's three, we need to go. So we're driving down King Street, it's totally busy, and the one parking spot that was open, we like pull into, and we opened the doors and got out, and I mean, it was like this feeling, this white, beautiful, gorgeous building just like called me. I just like I stood in front of it and I felt its energy and I just said this is next white hot. All of a sudden I saw this thing pop up on her feed with the the picture of her in front of that white building that said white hot do and I was like oh my god she I have goosebumps right now. Um, I was like oh my god she's gonna move she's gonna move and I was like if I could be the next owner of Sugar Fix, that would be my dream come true. So, like a crazy person, I sent her a DM immediately. And it said, oh my gosh, are you thinking about um, relocating? Because if you are, I've always been in love with your practice, can we meet for coffee? Something along those lines. So I was like, hmm, okay. Another sign, right? Because it wasn't something I had ever even considered, thought about, but I'm just like, all of these things are coming at me. And again, I'm one that leans in and listens. So I said, sure, like, let's sit down and talk. We met up and the minute that she walked into the doors of Sugar Fix, I saw myself. I am a gut feeling person. And sometimes you just have this feeling like something is right. I mean, it is my dream. Everything about it from the staff that works there to the patients to the level of service that's provided to literally every single cosmetic dentistry procedure that's done here is what I do. Every single thing about it is exactly what I wanted. So it was, it was fate that there was this perfect practice that Dr. Emery built and is now leaving to me. It, it's totally my dream come true. Signs are everywhere and um, she's supposed to be here. This is her legacy now for her to carry on um, and me pass the torch to her. And like I said, I'm gonna start my next one.